Have you ever wanted to learn how to speedrun, but you can't find the time? Well, I'll be learning how to speedrun over a week and seeing how far we can go and the benefits that come from it. Let's see what the fastest seven minutes. Jeez, if they can do seven minutes, I can do 30. So that's my goal. Let's see if we complete it. But first, let's see how fast I am without any training. Okay, I died, but hear me out. Like, it was so close. Like, look at that. Look at that. So let's just say it took around one hour and 20 minutes, all right? But to get a better time, we need to review the footage. And I found most of my time was lost due to not being able to find structures. So I found three different ways to locate structures and I'll be practicing this on day one. So the first one is the F3 entity counter to find the bastion. Okay, we can workshop that name. But basically you open up to F3 and you look at these funny numbers. This shows you how many entities are rendered in your FOV. Now bastions have so many pig fellas, so that means if we shrink our FOV and we spin around here, we can see that there's 10 entities here, 30 entities over this way. So that means if we go over here, we can see that there's a bastion right here waiting for us. P.S. I got a funny little new skin because that's going to make me go faster. Ugh. <sighs> okay, so maybe you won't find a bastion every single time, but it increases your chance to do so, and that's what matters. So I decided to spend the rest of the day practicing speedrunning up to the bastion. They're a lot more simpler than I thought. I just learned some techniques from Kariway. Here, I'll show you. So on the first bastion bridge, we have to get this chalice here. Then we have to go up here, around here, down here, then two blocks, and then make sure there's a hole here. And then that's basically it. Like that and then you get your pearls that's like really simple after learning all the other bastions besides housing okay i was out of brain power all right but it'll never show up in a run right right guys after some runs i started to realize i was going way too slow and then dying so i decided to watch some curry way so while i was watching curry way he says this hard strat, strat. And turns out extremely useful basically you get this hay and then you trade it for emeralds then trade that in for a bucket then you have enough iron from the golem to get an iron pickaxe for the bastion later on and a flint and steel. But oh my god, the village is so painful. You place this down, right? And then someone from across the world comes to claim the job. Like this fellow is right here. I swear I have lost so much time just because of this. Day four, I realized I was making a huge mistake. But before I found that out, I did a lot of speed runs and realized I can just F5 to find lava pools so easily on the ground. I'm using an F5 working through the walls, coach. I sure hope it's legal. After a lot of speed running, I finally rage quitted and I needed a break. Are you? I hate them. I hate this game. This game's so bad. Only to find out that my mistake was playing on version 1.16.5 as the pearl rates on the bastions are significantly lower than 1.16.1. Okay, now that I've learned all these mathematical skills, I'm gonna tell you how to find the fortress and the stronghold, all right? So, you, to find the stronghold, you need to press F3 plus shift, then go to your pie chart, and you wanna to go to tick, level, entity, block entities. This is where you want to be. If we increase our render distance, we see that there is a spawner. But by moving the chunk distance back one, we can move across the chunk border and tell roughly where the fortress will be. But there's one bastion that has a spawner in it, so if you see it, game over. This helped me cut down my time drastically and started making it into the fortress in under 20 minutes, which is still not good for my 30 minute speed run. <coughs> Oh, uh, did you just say how to get to the stronghold? Yeah, well, this funny little program, Ninja Brain Bot, which does all the math for you. The way I use it is I throw one eye, test it, move, throw another eye, and I test it again. I get a little percent, but anyway, we move on, and we get to the location, throw another one, and we get 100%. Congratulations, we've found the stronghold. Now that we know everything we need to know for speedrunning, let's start streaming to everyone. All right. Now, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I just really did that, did I? I really did that to myself. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, lava down. No, I pressed the wrong button. And I'll have to <laughs> restart the. No, I'm an idiot. At least there's another lava pool here. No. That's just embarrassing. During the stream, we had a couple good runs, but sadly, Six. they either okay. ended at the fortress or the bastion. But we finally got one that works. We started off the run with two blacksmiths right next to each other, saving a lot of time. Digging down to find a lava pool, we made it to the nether in under 4 minutes. After clearing the bastion in the fortress, we finally were out of the nether 
as we trekked for way too long, getting to the end in 45 minutes. Past our 30 minute mark, but wanting to get under an hour, we went in anyways, only to horribly fail at bed bomb, and it was up to chat what to do next. Choose the way I go out. I'm on half a heart. I'm not making this. I'm sorry, but this was a good run, everyone. We tried our best. <laughs> uh, day six, we streamed again, but this time it was much better than before. So I finally got a good run and it started off as normal COD strats, you know, and making it into nether in nine minutes, which is not good, but hopefully we get lucky later. And yes, we did with a fortress spawning right next to us. With some close calls to the blazers, we managed to get six blaze powder. We made it into the bastion successfully, navigating and getting enough pearls to get to the end. Yeah, yeah it's punching, it's punching, it's punching. I'm not going to make it in my beds. No, chat! I've screwed it! I want at least a complete run, chat! No, chat! I'm an idiot! To break these things, aren't we? Panic. Yes, come on. One more hit. Yes! We did it! We did it! Finally! One hour and nine minutes. Today is the last day, so I booted on my stream, and That's we had some good runs. And I chatted Jupiter Expresses that I should do this shipwreck strat. So, I needed to learn the portal first. Let's go into an actual run now. After learning the shipwreck strat, I went on and had a perfect run. Getting plenty of iron at two minutes, getting into the nether in eight minutes, but instantly finding a bastion and then I died. I failed. I streamed for four hours and I didn't even make it past the bastion. I threw in the towel. Sure, I could do the rest tomorrow, but then it would be eight days of speedrunning, not seven. But this is where I pass the challenge onto you. I eventually challenge you to learn speedrunning in only seven days completing an under 30 minutes run. But even if you don't do it under 30 minutes, send me your best times in the Discord below. We conclude answering the question at the start of the video. The answer is no. I cannot complete an under 30 minute speed run in seven days. But it was one hell of an experience and made me really enjoy Minecraft that little bit more. And maybe you can too. I'll catch you around. Goodbye. I'll see you all soon.